Hold E to engage rail. I'm glad this thing still works. Everything else on this ship is completely rusted out. Maybe we had to put some coconut oil on it to lubricate it. I don't know. Hold E to launch. Here we go. Woo -hoo -hoo! Look at us. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Am I supposed to be flying this? Okay. I think I am. All right, guys, welcome back to Stranded Deep. I'm an old guy gaming, and I think we have found our last boss location. It's a buoy out here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I still haven't actually made it back from fighting the great Abaya. Um, I'm heading back towards home and kind of going down, uh, well, well, to what feels like south, but kind of, you know, down towards the center of the map. Um, and um, we're not too far away. Okay, Luska the Great is where we're at. So, yeah, we're not too far away, actually, from our home island. Um, it should be off over that way somewhere, but just far enough away to where we can't see it. I have no idea what this boss is, what it does, um, whether we have to go down below again to fight it, but we're going to find out here pretty soon. I don't even know, you know, like I said, I don't know what it is. Like, is it a... We've fought a giant shark and a giant eel, so maybe it's a killer whale or an octopus or a cra kraken or something. I don't know. I'm trying to get the damn ship to a raft to turn. So we can get right up next to the buoy. Turn you. Turn damn you. Okay, let's back up this way a little more and then there we go okay so we'll get right up to the buoy and cut the engine drop the anchor let's get into the first person and get our spears ready okay so Is the yellow thing moving? It doesn't appear to be moving. How are we doing health-wise? Yeah, we're, we're okay health-wise. Let's eat something uh, just so we are topped off with that. All right, well, unfortunately, I guess we're going to have to dive again. Can we get up on top of this? All right, it looks like we're going down, guys. Oh, shit. Uh, it's a giant squid, but is it stuck? Oh, not anymore. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. We have to watch out for the beak. It's kind of, it's a little glitchy. Oh, it's got us. Not good, not good, not good, not good. Ah. Okay, here. Let's get uh, let's get back up to the surface. Uh, where's our? Oh man, we're a long ways away from our stuff. Let's go. Leave me alone. Oh, he didn't like that. Okay, we got to get back up here so we can take a bandage. I don't know if we can take bandages in the water or not. Uh, let's get up here. Quick, quick, quick! Uh. Ow! Oh shit! Um. All right, here, let's get on our raft instead. Okay, quick, 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 take a bandage. Okay. All right, um, back to here, okay. Oh, no, no, no. We're caught in his beak again, you son of a... Mm, can we, like, hit it while we're inside? Ow, ow, ow. Okay, take a bandage. All right, can we fight it from up here? Is it going to like... Oh, no. How can we be out of spears? No way. How can we possibly be out of spears? Uh, oh, he can pull us off. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Okay, we got to get some of our spears back off of him. Holy shit. Okay, 
Grab spears when he goes by. Grab spears. Uh, stay away from the the pointy end. The beaky. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Shit. No, he's got us again. I can't get my spears back. I'm trying to get my spears back. Give me my spears. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't, this doesn't go so well, you guys. <laughs> oh, shit. This guy is a lot harder than the other bosses. Um. All right, here. We got to get air. We got to get air. Can't forget about that. Okay. I still haven't been able to retrieve a spear. If, if we don't do this the first time, we're coming back. I mean, we're going to have a shitload of spears on us. Someone come back. Okay. Spear, spear, spears. See, I can't get the spears off of him. Oh! We died. <laughs> oh, shit. Died from bleeding. All right, we're going to have to have a crap ton of bandages and a crap ton of spears. And I'm going to have to put the bandages on my key bar, uh, my, my toolbar, so I can get to them real quick. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. So... I say I, I saved that and I actually saved that our uh, our starter island because I came across it on the way back. Um, so let's go. Let's go back here. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what the strategy is for this guy because obviously you can't fight him from up above because he just pulls you down with his tentacle. Um, and staying away from you know his beak is way easier said than done. Or his tentacles, rather, than he drags you in to his beak. But it said I died from bleeding, so... Uh, yeah, bandages. All right, well, I'll tell you what. Let's, um... Can't believe, man. Look how many spears I have and we went through. That's nuts. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's let's attempt it one more time. Um, So what I'm going to do is... Let's put the spears on in the one slot and the bandages in the two slot. Okay? Let's try it one more time, and if we are defeated the second time, then we'll go back home, we'll make more bandages and even more spears, and then come back and attempt uh, attempt it again. Okay, so let's um, raise anchor, and we pretty much just set off in this general direction and then until I saw, you know, the buoy off in the distance. I am going to need to get into third person. Now, this is terrible... They really need to make a, a hotkey for that. It's such a pain in the butt. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. So we should just kind of more or less head. Oh, there's the buoy right there. Actually, I can see it from here. Okay. So having um, having the bandages on our hot bar is going to help. Uh, I should check and see if I have any cloth on the raft. I might. If I do, then we'll make some more bandages too. So, like with any boss fight, you know, we have, we just have to figure out the correct strategy here. But I'm glad this one's a little more challenging, because honestly, the other two weren't that hard, you know? Let's get the great. Okay. Cut the motor. Drop the anchor. Get into here. First person, back, resume. All right, now let me see. Do I have any cloth in any of these? I don't think so. Okay, well, yeah, I think everything up here is empty. All right, well, let's give it another shot and just see what happens. So number one is spare, number two is bandages. And I should try and see if I can bandage in the water, too. Maybe I can. I'm assuming I can't, and I probably shouldn't assume that. All right, there he is. Here we go. Why am I holding on to my bandage? What? No, no, no. Get into the one slot, dummy. Okay, that's not a good start for us. Oh, shit, he got us already. Can I throw... I don't think I can throw spears at him while he's got me captured. Okay, let's go to two. Um, did we just bandage? See, I'm hitting one and it's not switching me over. I really do not like... 
the key bindings in this game. They don't work very well. Okay, we gotta get some air. Yeah, we gotta stay away from his tentacles. That is the thing. We got. Oh, shit! Yeah, stay away from the tentacles. When he comes at us straight on, that's okay because he doesn't have anything up front that he can hurt us with. Stay away from the tentacles. Tentacles, tentacles. Okay, we got it almost half. The thing is, is man, I don't know if I have enough spares to do this. Oh shit, he's got us. Okay. Okay, grab a bandage, take it quick, get up for air, go back to the wheel because the damn shortcut keys don't work worth a shit. Alright, uh, stay away from tentacles. Up, 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 up. Oh shit, he's got us again. This isn't good. Okay, take that. Get back up. Alright, now, if we get on the raft, um, or the buoy, ah, oh, shit, he's got us again. And we don't have any bandages left. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna survive. He's got us twice now. Uh, get away from him. And we are out of spears, and he's not quite dead. Shit. Oh, how's our health? That's not good, and we're bleeding. Um, well, our only chance is to see if we can grab a couple more spears off of him. Okay, we got one. Oh, but he's got a hold of us. We're dead. There's no way we're going to survive this one. I'm trying to grab the spears. Okay, he got us. Okay, well, we, we did better that time. We did better that time. I think what I need to do, I, I did a reasonably good job, I think, of avoiding the tentacles as best as I could, but more bandages and more spears. That's what we need to do this fight. More bandages, more spears. And yeah, I mean, the hotkeys are shit. They absolutely don't work with a crap. Plus the fact that they don't stay persistent either, which has made them, you know, all but useless. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to go back home and stock up on as many bandages and spears as I can possibly carry. And then we're going to come back and we're going to kill this thing. So I will, I don't, I'll probably just meet you back here because my island is not very far away from where we are. So let's just load back in here. Day 62. Okay. So the buoy is... We can... Not quite... Excuse me. Not quite see it from here, but it's just right out there. And if we look at our map... Oh, the map's not working now. The map doesn't work if you... If you die and load back in, you have to restart the whole damn game, which is kind of frustrating, but it's a mod, so, you know, what can you expect? Uh, but anyway, our island is just right over that direction. It's not very far at all. It's just, just out of view, viewable distance, I think. So, yeah, I'll go back there. We'll get stocked up on bandages and more spears, and then we're going to come back and we're going to kill this son of a bitch, okay? So I'll meet you guys back at the squid. All right, guys, as you can see, we're back at the base. Um, there's a couple things I want to do, and I wanted to do it on camera. Uh, so let's let's get the trophy set up first for the eel. Uh, so let's see. We're going to need sticks for that. Do I even have any sticks? Oh, I got sticks upstairs by the, the fuel stills. I harvested the potatoes, and thanks to the rain, um, everything's going to be fully watered again, so that's good. Um, let's take a drink out of each one of these, too, while it's raining, just to get our... take advantage of the free water there. Come up here. Um, let's grab this last jerry can. There we go. And then all of my fuel cans are completely full, the gyrocopter's completely full, and the outboard motor is completely full. So we got lots of gasoline. We're doing good on that. Um, so what I want to do is... I want to make a couple of other things. There is a... Let's go into the consumables menu. There's this... Um, gauze. 
I don't know exactly what this does, but I'm assuming maybe it's like a, an actual healing kick. I don't know if the bandages, I don't think the bandages actually heal us. They just stop bleeding. And then I also want to try out this breath boost too, because that will, um, uh, I'm assuming, will allow us to stay underwater for longer, okay? So let's grab two flasks here. And we're going to need some of those ajuga plants. Oh, we're going to need some of these too. Uh, not enough room in inventory. Oh, okay. Let's do this. I'm going to drop off some of my spears in here. Okay, so. Um, let's go to consumables and make the... Oh, no. We need... Didn't I grab one of those? Oh, I tried to, but we ran out of room. That's right. Okay, so plants, grab one of those, and make a gauze. I, I wish it told us what this actually did. It says medical one dose, so I have to assume... Oh, no, it's it says natural gauze to stop bleeding. A roll of bandage can be used to treat bleeding or revive a player. Oh, okay, so... Maybe there isn't a, a health potion thing in the game. Uh, how are we hurt at all? Let's try something. Um, how can I hurt myself without killing myself? Here, before we, <laughs> before we do that, let's save just in case, you know. Just in case uh, we really mess ourselves up. I just want to test this to see if it actually heals us at all. Um, so let's save. Uh, let's see, how can we hurt ourselves? I guess we could get up on the roof and then jump off because there is fall damage in the game. Okay. Okay, that hurt us. So we are down like a bar and a half. Okay, so if we take this... Oh, it doesn't let us take it because we're not actually bleeding. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, so apparently this doesn't do anything different than what this does. Except for these can be used in multiplayer. I find that interesting that we have nothing in the game to heal. I mean, just like a to heal our health itself. Huh. Okay, well, let's try the breath boost then. I'm not going to even take the gauze with me because it's just going to take up another slot. And if it doesn't do anything different than the bandages, there's no point. All right, so let's just put that into flasks. And now um, we should have some ajuga plant somewhere. Here we go. Okay. So, yeah, let's grab... I imagine we, we probably only need the breath boost once. Not sure how long it, <clears throat> it takes. Um, you know what? Let's just test one. We have this'll come in handy. We have plenty of resources. Okay, so if we go underwater, <laughs> I'm just you know trying to see how long we can actually hold our breath with the breath boost. Definitely seems to be better. How do we know how long it lasts, too? I guess that's the other thing. Oh, yeah. This is this is much longer than, than normal. I would have had to probably come up for air by now or getting really close to having to come up for air by now. Okay, so that's going to be useful. That is going to be useful. Is there any kind of stat menu that tells us... You know, active buffs, that sort of thing. Option save. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't see anything for our character like that. And nothing shows up on the screen as far as I can see. So, okay. Oh, no. Duh. <laughs> I forgot about this. There we go. Breath boost. Okay. Nice. I forgot. Well, it doesn't tell us how much longer it's lasting, but at least it tells us that we have it. So, that's good. All right. Let's make another one of these. Um... We're not going to need another one. One of these should be fine. I mean, if we 
If we run out of breath boost before we kill the boss, we're going to be dead by then anyway. So we only need to take one of those. We'll consume it at the very start, and then that'll free up a slot for us. Okay, so we have two. We have eight bandages in total. I'm not going to have the compass in my inventory when we fight the boss. Um, so that, you know, we won't have that. Uh, so every other slot will be loaded with spears. So let's see how many spears do I currently have. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, almost five full. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So basically, I want, or no, eight. Yeah, okay. So I want to make, make sure I have eight full stacks of spears. So eight times four is 32. Um, and we have one, two, three, four. So we basically need to make 16. 13 minus 3, 13. We need to make 13 more spears. And I, if I did my math right, if not, well, I'll fix it later. Okay, let's do one other thing. Um, we want to go... Oh, we were going to make the hook for our boy. We're going to make the hook for our boy. So let's grab a lantern. So we can see. And then I was going to go up here and get some sticks. So let's do that. And there's the hook. Okay, now let's go back down. And we want to put this hook. I don't remember exactly where we connected this one. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, right in the center. So basically right here. And then we want to go into here. Story. Grab this trophy and hang it on that hook. There we go. Look at that scary son of a gun. Right on. Okay. So we got the shark and the eel. Because the giant squid is proving to be the strongest of all the bosses, we'll have to figure out a place of honor for for its head <laughs> uh, so we'll figure that out once we get it and, and bring it back okay guys so I think all we have to do now is what's up Wooly that's funny uh, just make some more spears so I'm going to make sure that every single inventory slot I have is full, full with a full stack of spears uh, with the exception of the two bandages this like I said will take right before we engage the boss and uh, yeah, that is the plan. So I will meet you guys. I'm going to make the spares. I'm going to sleep. And then I'll meet you guys back out at the boss location. And we will defeat that son of a gun. Okay, see you in a bit. All right, guys, we are back. Um, looks like the weather's going to turn to crap, which isn't great. But let's just give this a try. First thing we want to do, of course, is go into first person. All right, now uh, we're going to grab this out of here and consume it this will come in handy put that back and then grab the bandages out of here and we are now full it won't let me uh did i put the anchor down yeah it won't let me um add any more spears but i do have six uh, additional spears uh okay i'm gonna try to add these to the hot bars again but uh, i don't know if it's gonna work too well so if i go one two one two all right we'll try it Okay, here we go. Yeah, see, it, one doesn't come back. So what we have to do is stay away from the tentacles as best as we can, which we didn't do a very good job there. Um, okay, let's take that. Did we take it? Yeah. And then, oh, shit. Okay, can I get the spear back? All right, where'd he go? All right, we need to take a bandage. Oh, he grabbed us again. This is hard. This is really hard. Okay, we got a spear back. Yeah, he keeps getting me. Um, see, the last time this happened, I, I did a better job of kind of steering clear of his tentacles so okay see what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to swim at a right angle away from him when he swims by me 
but I don't know how well that's working, of course. We got him down to half health, so that's good. Fuck. <laughs> this is terrible. Grab a bandage quick. Okay. Now, let's get away from... Okay, let's swim out this way. I don't know if we hit him. Oh, God, this is hard. Okay. We have to wait for him to let go of us. Take a bandage. Okay. Let's get some air. And he's got a hold of us again. Can we, like, spear him when he's got a hold of us? Okay. Get up. Get a spear. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Ugh. Okay, that's our last bandage. I don't even know where our health is. Um, oh shit, where is he? Oh, do we get too far away from the area? I hope he doesn't regain health when that happens. Yeah, we got too far away. How's our health? Ugh, <laughs> not good, not good. Man, I hope he doesn't reset. If he, that's gonna be so disappointing if he resets. I think he has. Oh, no. And all of our spears are gone, too. Oh, yeah, he's reset. Okay, well, we got to watch that next time. We can't get too far away from the... Uh, you know, from the thing. But there's no way we're going to kill him now because we don't have, a, have enough spears unless I can figure out a way to retrieve enough of them and not get caught in his tentacles in the process. Ooh, this seems to kind of be working. It's like he gets a little caught up in the... Oh, no, he got us. Okay. So, yeah, uh, don't get too far away from the place. I, I wasn't... I did a terrible job of situational awareness in this attempt, so we got to do a little bit better job of that. Uh, I, I got started off on the wrong foot because I tried the stupid, you know, key press things again, and they're just worthless. Because it, it appears it only applies for the single spear that you put in there. And then once you use it, it doesn't replace it with another spear. And what it should do is it should um, it should replace the spear that's in there. I mean, that's how, how that kind of thing usually works. But that's not how it works here. So anything that's consumable, it doesn't work on the toolbar, which is pretty disappointing. And they need to fix that. Um, so, yeah, we won't make that mistake this time. And um, on this next attempt, uh, like I said, I'm going to try and be a little more situationally aware and uh, see if we can get it done this time. I, I'm happy. I, I'm glad for the challenge, though. I really am because, you know, the Meg was a walk in the park. I was like, what the hell? The eel was a little more challenging, especially because we had to go down in the water to get it. But, you know, even that one wasn't that bad. This is tough, man. I'm, I'm struggling with this one. And, and I'm, I'm glad for it because, you know, give us that challenge. Uh, okay, so, yeah, we're back at the base. Um, so I'll meet you guys back at the location, and we'll try it again. All right, guys, here we are again. Let's see if we can get this get this done this time. Pull right on up to the buoy here. Drop anchor. Shut engine off. You think I've done this a few times now, huh? Go back into first person. Resume. Okay, grab this out of here. Take it. This will come in. Put handy. that back in there. Grab the bandages. And let's do this. Okay. So, where is the buoy? It's right here. Okay, this time we're going to kind of stay a little closer to the surface. I don't know if that's going to help or not, but I do need to make sure I'm getting shots off on it. Okay, so he got us first. I'm going to try and stab him too while he has us in his grip. Okay, take a bandage. Get back up. Where's the buoy? We want to make sure we don't get too far away from the buoy. Oh, shit, he's got us again. Oh, no, he doesn't. Okay. It's really hard to stay away from those tentacles, man. I'll tell you what. 
Okay, we got him there. Okay, stab him. I don't know if that's doing any good, but we're going to keep fighting no matter what. Take a bandage. Wait, did I take it? I don't know. I hope so. Okay, we got a shot off on him there. Shot there. Shot there. Shot there. There we go. Now we're putting the hurt on him. Uh, did he get us? Yeah, man, we just need to be more aggressive about this. That's all there is to it. And we got him. All right, I'm not entirely sure if I took a bandage or not, so I'm taking one now. Uh, are we bleeding? Woot! Okay, objective completed. One trophy, one aircraft propeller or something or other. And he sinks to the bottom and takes all of our spares with him. All right, we did it. <laughs> we did it. Healthy and breath boost. Okay. Woo! That was not an easy fight, you guys. Um... So here's here here's my assessment of this fight. Make sure you have plenty of bandages. Make sure you have plenty of spears. Stay more towards the surface, you know, because I don't know. I, I just felt like I could tell where it was coming a little bit better. Because when you're down underneath, you get a little disoriented, you know, uh, and just lay on the spears. Um, I, I was more aggressive this time, and it really paid off, I think. So, whew, okay, what a fight. I, I enjoyed that. I, was, I, I appreciate that challenge. Because, again, the other two, the, the Meg boss was seriously disappointing. You know, the eel was okay. The eel was, the eel was fun because it was a little scary that I had to go down under the water to kill it. You know, um, but this one was definitely by far the most challenging of the bosses. All right, you guys, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the base. We're going to set up our trophy for the eel. And then we're going to go ahead to the aircraft carrier and escape this place. So I'll meet you guys back at the base. All right, guys, we're back, and I think I have the perfect spot for the uh, the uh, squid boss. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a hook, and we're going to see if we can get it right up here. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Okay, I might have to move the raft over. Um, Yeah, let's move the raft over. So we need to undo that and come back. Come this way, man. We want it right about in the middle there. It wants to, it wants to go its own way. It's funny that there's still a, a current in this lagoon here that moves it. Okay. So let's make the hook and then we want to put it, um, it's a little bit weird. Right there, I guess. It's not perfectly centered, but I think it's close enough to where it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go into here. Go into story mode. Grab this guy. And stick it on the hook. There we go. Look at that. Awesome. That's fantastic, man. <laughs> the big old squid eye. All right, that was the meanest boss that we had to defeat. So it's what it's the center piece, uh, centerpiece rather, on display. Fan freaking tastic. All right, you guys, I think it's time. I think it's time for us to say goodbye to Stranded Deep. Uh, so we should have, we have all the supplies already at the plane. Uh, we gassed it up. We got water. We got food. Uh, we just have to attach the final two parts and then we can take off and escape this Bermuda Triangle that we've been living in for over 60 days now. Uh, so yeah. This base was awesome. I really liked the base. Uh, you guys gave me some really nice comments in the uh, in the comments section about the base too, so I appreciate that. Yeah, I think that build turned out great. We never did go to clay, but I don't think I didn't feel like we needed to really. I mean, I, I just like the base the way that it is. And um, you know, we, we planted a nice big garden. I did eventually accumulate some clay, but you know, just didn't really need to use it. I, I don't know that I made a single clay jar because all the jars that we have, we found. You know, just from looting. So. Um, yeah, I'm very happy with this location. Uh, this island, this is Sentinel Island. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head who the author is, but I'll, I'll put a note in the, the video when I'm editing. Uh, but I just really love this island, um, the, you know, to the author who made this island. It's just great. You did a fantastic job. The only thing I would suggest, though, for this island is, you know, uh, you know, give us like some large game. Uh, we only, there's only small pigs on it, maybe. And 
Uh, I mean, I know you you have limited space to work with, but it'd be nice if there was a little more reef action on it too, because there really isn't. The island, the land part of the island is so big that it's pretty much used up all the available space. But that's a game limitation. That's not your fault. So anyway, fantastic job on this island for sure. Okay, you guys, it is time to say farewell to our base. So farewell base. Uh, we're going to do one final save just in case some crazy shit happens. <laughs> okay, so we got that done. Uh, the gyro is um, completely fueled and ready to go. And here we go. Off to the aircraft carrier, which is... Should be... Why can't we not see it? We should be able to see it from here. It's probably because... Yeah, it, I know it's this direction. Maybe it's because it's just a little hazy out. So let's just fly towards the direction that I know it is. Okay, so a couple things while we're flying uh, to the aircraft carrier. Um, if, if any of the devs ever watch this series, I don't know if you ever will or not, because, you know, I'm, I'm not a very big YouTuber, but if you ever do, uh, first of all, bravo on the game. Love the game. Really enjoyed playing it. It's, it's an amazing game. Um, so I want to throw that out there to start with for sure. But there's a couple things you guys need to do to this game. You need you need better islands. I mean, the vanilla islands are terrible. And if it, if it wasn't for the modded islands that I put on this game, I probably, to be honest with you, I probably would not have continued playing. Um, because, you know, they're, the, the vanilla islands are just, they're really boring. And they're pretty much the same thing. So... There's that. Um, the other thing is I've complained a lot throughout this series about the... Oh, man, I hope that aircraft carrier is going to pop in. It should be right there, but it's not... I don't see it. That's a little bit concerning, but maybe it'll just pop in. Uh, anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, the ability to switch from first to third person is really, really important, especially when you're on, you know, on vehicles and the raft in particular. And to have to go back into the menu to do that you know, all those clicks, it's just a pain in the butt. So we really need a hotkey for, you know, that to work. Where in the hell is the aircraft carrier? <laughs> it's supposed to be right here. Um, that's a little concerning. I'm going to throw that out there. hope it pops in in a second. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> wow. I've never seen it do that before. I was, like, really worried about it for a second. So, yeah, a uh, hotkey to change views, really important. You need you need more variety of loot in the game. I mean, there's there's a, really a very small loot list, and it's all the same. And after a while, it makes hunting for loot kind of like, eh, why am I even wasting my time to do this? Uh, so you know, you got a ton of engine parts, for example, and and we only need a, a very small handful of those for the whole game. So you know, you need to you need more variety in your loot. You need to have a bigger loot list and make that loot useful, of course. Uh, so there's that. Um, let's see, what else? The, oh, the hot bars are absolutely worthless. Um, just completely worthless, you guys. Um, they're, they're, well, they might be okay, I guess, for tools, but for anything consumable like spears, um, you know, if you watch my fight with the, with the squid boss, uh, they're just useless, and that needs to be fixed, too. So if, if I assign a consumable item like, that I have a stack of, like, spears, that item needs to stay assigned until my inventory completely runs out. So, um, and, oh, and the final thing that I would request is a map, because I had to use a mod to do the map. Maybe it wasn't your intention to not have a map in the game, but I don't find that a fun gameplay. I think we need a map. I think the map needs to be normal, like north, south, east, west, instead of all cockeyed like it is, uh, and give us a map. I mean, make make maybe not give it to us at the uh, front, but give us the ability to discover, you know, uncover the map, I guess. Uh, as we go along, or find it, or do some kind of quest to get a map, that sort of thing. I'd be fine with that, but we, but the game really needs a map. So, anyway, uh, but that's hopefully taking as constructive criticism. Again, even if you guys even watching this and all, you probably won't, but you never know. Maybe you will. Um, and uh, the game overall is great, though, and I will definitely plan on playing it again when there's another major content update, you know, uh, coming out. So, okay, with that being said, we need to repair these two parts here. So let's go into here we're going to go to story mode and we're going to go to the airline uh, air parts whatever in, aircraft engine parts so let's grab the engine and we should be able to yeah hold E to fix all right we got that done and then let's go back into here go to story mode 
plane and the propeller part and hold that to fix. All right, it's done. Okay. Uh, we heard like victory music. Oh, I think it's done. Go home. Hold E to go home. Are you sure you want to leave? No, I'm scared. <laughs> oh, we can save. Okay, yeah, let's save one last time in case I decide I want to come back into the game and look at something later. And here we go. Let's go home, you guys. Oh, it's nice that it changes to daytime. Uh, are we going to close the hood? Hold E to start engine. We didn't close the hood. That's concerning me. I don't think that's safe. <laughs> All right, now what do we do? Okay, hold E to close the cockpit. Okay, what about hold E to close the engine hood? Okay, now what? Hold E to engage rail. I'm glad this thing still works. Everything else on this ship is completely rusted out. Maybe we had to put some coconut oil on it to lubricate it. I don't know. Hold E to throttle engine. Oh, the, the hood magically closed. Okay. Hold E to launch. Here we go. Woo -hoo -hoo! Look at us. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Am I supposed to be flying this? Okay. I think I am. Yeah, I'm flying it. Oh, oh, okay. See, now this would be awesome if, if we had a third-person view. Now, where do I go? Here, can we, can we, uh, options? Uh, that doesn't help a whole lot, actually. It's putting me off to the side here. Okay, yeah, let's not do that. Do I just fly to the edge of the world? Oh, there we go. Three hours later. Okay, I, I wasn't sure if I was dead yet or not. I don't think I have control of the plane now. I can look around, but... Okay. What's going to happen? Oh! Sh you got to be kidding me! <laughs> what? No way! <laughs> so... So my, oh, that is awesome. So my plane escaping hits another plane and the cycle starts all over again. That is crazy. Like we're stuck in the freaking Bermuda Triangle and it's just the cycle repeats itself. Oh man, I love it. Great ending. Bravo devs. Bravo. I loved it. And thank you for giving us the ability to control, you know, the plane at the end there too, and not just having it be a cutscene. That was, that was fun too, even though it was simple. So, yeah, that was awesome. Oh, man. I'm very happy with this ending. Uh, I, I have a hard time with endings on movies and games. And this, this one did a good job. A really good job on the ending, you guys. Loved it. Okay, so, guys, that is it for Stranded Deep. I did very much enjoy this game. And uh, like I said, I'll, I'll keep my eye on it. If it comes out with another, you know, significant content update, then I'm sure I'll jump in and play it again because it was definitely worth uh, playing. Um... 
I thought about maybe doing another playthrough like fully modded with just tons of modded islands, but I don't think I'm going to do that at this point only because, you know, that's the only thing that would be different is we'd have, you know, modded islands, but everything else would still be the same. And, you know, I, I don't think I want to do that until, you know, there's another major content update. But, oh, man, that was fun. So very cool. All right, you guys, that's it for Stranded Deep. Thank you very much for watching this. I hope you guys watched um, or enjoyed watching the series as well as this video. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments uh, your thoughts on the bosses and the game and, and the mechanics and my comments uh, to the devs. I'd like to hear back from you guys too on it. But uh, And don't take any of that as negative. I'm, I, I meant it as constructive criticism because I really do like the game. And I think that it's, uh, it's a good game for sure. All right, that is it, guys. Thanks for watching. We will catch you next time we catch you. Bye-bye.